This is the fourth video of War Plan, War in Europe. And uh, I am playing the Germans, and the game's artificial intelligence is playing the Allies. So uh, we're loading in our game. And it's War in Europe. And it's generating the game. Okay, and here we are. So we're April 1940. It's still raining. I don't know why I'm getting this information on the left here. Hopefully it's recording. I can, see, I can't tell because this game overlays my recording device. And there's no uh, toolbar at the bottom, which normally I have on every other game, but on this one not. Uh, so I guess we'll live with it. So it's almost, uh, the battle for France is almost ready to begin, but it's raining, so it can't. Now, one interesting thing I've noticed here is that basically the German army is going to be pretty much what they had in Poland because I've had to drop off several units for garrison duty and to form a garrison on the Eastern Front and I pick up a couple that were deployed in the West but they're pretty much in the Siegfried line which means they're not really useful unless I switch them out with another unit so The only reinforcement I've gotten so far, I believe, is the Airborne Corps. And that's it. So, so my army is the same as Poland, which doesn't seem quite right. But that's the way it is. Now, I will be getting reinforcements. Oh, well, I've, got a, I've got a division and a motorized corps ready. What is this shit over here? red. Well, I guess we'll have to live with it. I don't know what that means. So I can deploy those. But the Panzer Corps aren't available until the 16th. Well, I guess that's and the 30th. So I don't know. But the majority of the Panzer Corps are available in May, June, July, and August. And the French campaign was what? Over at the end of June. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to have enough to punch through. And another thing is, I'm pretty sure that these French units here aren't going to go up into Belgium. They're just going to form here in front of me. And the British units too. So we're going to see. It's, uh, it's not going to be, I don't think, the elements here aren't there for the German breakthrough. Because what happened historically was... Here's the Ardennes. The German moved their armor through the Ardennes. Meanwhile, the British and the French moved up towards Belgium, which I don't think they're going to do because the last game I played, they didn't do that. And so instead of 
there being a hole and the Germans basically just go to the coast, there's going to be like 10 units here you're going to have to fight through one after the other. So I don't know. I don't know if the uh, the Germans are given enough force. We'll see. But I am doing research now on the Russians as to what the Germans had for their entire army everywhere at the start of Barbarossa. So I'm going to see if the Germans will have that that available. I'm not sure they they will, but we'll see. But anyway, we'll go on here. So okay. I've got some stockpiled stuff. So I'll start making some large infantry cores. There's one, there's two, and I'm out of points. So that takes care of that. I've got 10 points. Can I build some trucks? I should start building some supply trucks. No, that takes 30. So that's done. I've got a motorized core to deploy. I'll deploy it there. And I've got a division. So the division is going to be a garrison. Oh, I could use that at Copenhagen. Okay. I've got a division here. I've got a division here. I've got a division here. Okay, that covers my naval bases. Uh, oh, I can move this by rail. Okay. So what I'm going to do... Let me go back here. Okay, this is Luxembourg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare war on Lux Luxembourg. They don't have an army. So I get to move into their hex. Did that Metcor go? Where the hell was it? Where's the airborne car? Infantry? Infantry? Where the hell's the mech? 
Infantry, infantry. Jesus. It had to be on a deployment hex in Germany. Did I deploy it? Yeah, I did. Fifth League Corps, Sar Reserve. Fourth Corps. Where the is that? Motorized Corps, here the bastard is. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, what am I going to have to do? Move all, all these guys one at a time? Cripes. Okay. Jesus Christ Almighty. Look at this. This is getting really freaking ridiculous. All right, now can I move them up? Um... Christ, I gotta stop swearing. Okay, I'll have to be next time I move them up. Jesus, all that trouble for just, that's what happens when you can't stack units. You, you get them all bunched up and they can't move forward. So I've gotta make room for the motorized core as well as for some armor that's coming in. What a pain in the ass. Okay. Let's see if my Air Force, I've got that all situated. Now these guys that are... here as garrisons... garrison status. Um, my arrow is pointing up towards this... Uh, on the unit display on this white box here and I want to change that into an active unit so I just click on it well, it doesn't work I bet it doesn't work because they don't have any production points Okay, that won't work. I want to change these to active units because they're changed to garrison, which is this, like, I, I don't know what that is, like, um, teeth or something. I guess it means it's like fortifications or something. So this isn't a combat unit, it's a defensive unit. But I'm thinking I should be able to change it back, but I can't do it. And I'm thinking it's because I only have 10 supply. I'll have to read up on that. Let's make sure. 
clicking twice here to bring up my air units. Make sure I have all my air units up here. Now this one could move closer. Good, I could bring my Stukas up close. There's my, uh, I mean ground support, I keep calling them Stukas. There's my other one right there. Uh, apparently I can't move that one. This other one is pretty good. Except that's got a longer range. I guess I can't bring it up to the woods. All right, we'll leave it there for the moment. I'm not sure I can reorganize anything more on this front. All I have to do is had to do is make room for the mech and the armor and that's it I don't believe there's anything else to be done here so we'll go on to the next turn Luxembourg surrendered See, realistically, the only, th historically anyway, the only thing the French moved was, uh, was that army, I think it was the 9th Army, 9th French Army, and some British troops up into Belgium. But the rest of their troops really didn't move. And a lot of them didn't have transports, so they couldn't move very far. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I envision a tough fight that's going to take three or four months. Maybe longer. that the Brussels Army headquarters Brussels joins the Allies okay we don't have rain at least in France which is good news because that means I'm going to attack okay we've got some production I can't produce another core. So I won't produce anything.
Holy shit. Look at the size of this Calvary. Look at the stuff that's in... Oh. See, look at this. All this is in front of me. Wow. Well, I've I'm going to declare war on Belgium. What? How did that happen? Shit, I should have looked. When I declared war on, or when I, yeah, when I declared war on, uh, Luxembourg, Belgium must have come in automatically. Well, that's interesting. God damn, these are some big units. Well, okay. We've got to do what we can do. So, that means my main attention is on this cavalry. I've got to get over the river. Right now I've got a seven to one, which should be enough. I got four, two casualties, he got four. Shit, now it's only four to one? What the hell happened? Let's put our uh, Stuka on it. Soften it up, okay, I got one casualty, he got two. We can attack twice. So he got zero, I got one. That makes sense. All right, let's put this other Stuka on it. It's going to be a tough fight, I can tell. I'm knocking him down some. Okay, zero and zero, nothing happened. Zero and zero, Christ. Let's put this guy on it. Zero and zero. Zero and zero. Well, I guess he is in the Ardennes. This isn't looking too promising. Zero and zero. Well, it was promising. I'm ten to one now, so even though The strength doesn't reflect it. He got a lot of damage. Okay, what the hell happened? Did he disappear? No, he retreated. What the hell good does that do me? Damn. Got four operation points here. Okay. Four to one. I got any more aircraft to throw in? Not that one. I'm left clicking twice. Okay, that one. Let's throw in some air here. Zero to zero. Zero to zero. But see, that doesn't mean anything because. Let's see if the odds went up. Four to one, okay, they didn't. 
This one can go. Let's do some airstrikes there. Zero to zero. Zero to zero. This one's tapped out. Looks like my Air Force is tapped out. It's the same Air Force I had in Poland. It hasn't really changed. Okay, now let's see what the odds are. Five to one. Now this, yeah, this is kind of screwy because his combat strength didn't go down, but my odds went up from four to one to five to one. So AI apparently is making some ca calculations that aren't based solely on the combat strength. I don't know how that's being done, but this helped, but uh, you know, it's it doesn't give you the true picture. But I guess you can always do this and check the odds and see if anything happened. Because if you look at the strength, nothing should should have happened. It still should be four to one. But it's five to one, so I'll take it. So let's go and attack them. Okay, boom. We blew them out of there. So we'll cross with the armor. And I've still got two operations points. I've still got two there. And it's 10 to 1. So we'll go for it. All right. Blow them back and put some hurt on them. I will go forward. Now I'm probably out of operations points. Yep, zero there. Ooh, we still got four there. Three to two. Boy, those are nasty odds. Not very good at all. So let's bring up some reinforcements. Got two operations points. Got zero there. Three to two. That's not very good. See, it. And where's that? I hit this writing in red here. Where the hell did that come from? It overlies some of this information. Jesus Christ. Why, why? Where's that motorized? This is just the infantry corps. Here's the motorized, motorized corps right here. No, well, move it up there. Got to move one of these headquarters up. This is the Netherlands. Whew. I can't attack cross there unless I go to war. Three or two. Three to two. This is going to get tough now. These are big friggin' units. They're bigger than me. Look at this is 30. I'm 28 and 20. How am I going to get odds on that? Like, I don't have any operational points. This isn't good. Okay, I can't move any of this aircraft forward. Eh. Well. I'm going to have to widen this front, so I'm going to have to go against the Netherlands now. So 
It's too narrow a front on Belgium to cruel our war in Netherlands, yes. Okay, now I can move against them. Eh. Eh. Okay, so I got one headquarters up there. Now we'll leave them back there. Let's move this guy up. This guy up. Okay. Let's move our fighters up. this fighter already? I don't think I did. Why can't it move? Unknown. This one can move. Let's move him up there. Just so I have fighter cover. Okay. Let's see what I get for new units. This isn't off to a particularly good start. First Panzer. Okay, that's good. What can I deploy him? Let's put him there. Okay. And the fifth core, 50th core. Put him right there. Well, this is going to be a slugfest. We're going to see how it goes. It's the end of my turn. Yeah, I'll have to remember that. Uh, that wasn't in the rules where when you you go to war with Luxembourg, Netherlands, or... <laughs> Luxembourg, you automatically go to war with Belgium. Can't say it made any difference. Let's see, in this game, the British and French don't go into the Belgium at all. They're just sitting there, and they were the, deployed there at the beginning of the game, so. I don't see how the Germans can make their historical breakthrough to the coast. Not if the, the French are, you know, and the Belgians are four units deep. But we will see how things go. You never can tell. But it is going to be a tough fight. Much tougher than it was, which means they're going to be that much weaker for Russia. Now, I played one game of this where I went as far as January 43, but I didn't go into Russia until 1942 and I built up my strength and I was pretty strong but there were two problems with that the first one was the Russians made their military reforms and I was fighting 
mech corps, tank corps, and big infantry corps right off the bat. So it was a tough fight. I was going for towards the Caucasus. So I was fighting in the Ukraine. But I I beat them, but it was a really tough fight because they had a lot of stuff. I would not recommend going into Russia in 1942. I don't know whether it's going to be better to go in in 41. I guess we'll see. Okay, it's a new turn. Thank God it isn't uh, raining. All right, do I get any production points? Oh, yeah, 194. So we're going to build an infantry. Oh, we can't. We're four, por four, four points short. We need 198 in production. Okay, do we get anything? Yes. We get a core and an infantry division. Okay. We'll deploy the core at Essen. Oh, we get a security division. Now we're going to need... Well, we're probably going to need them to hold some ports in France. So let's put them there. We've got a security division. Put them there. So there must be three divisions in a core. Looks like. Okay, so that's all my reinforcements. So let's see what we got here. Okay, the Belgians have pulled back. Why, I don't know, but it's good they did, I guess. Good for me. Okay, so let's push up here. Two to one, seven to one. One to one. Wow, maybe I'll get to the coast after all. Is this the motorized? The hell's the motorized? They should make that with a different symbol, like, you know, the Panzer Grenadier symbol. Where the hell is it now? I keep losing it. Thought I brought it up. Let's see if I can convert these guys. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so I'm going to convert all of these guys to full strength divisions. And since this campaign is going to last for a while, what's going to happen is I'll take a beat to shit division or core maybe even the division and put it in there and release these guys in fact uh, that's true I can put the divisions in there in fact that's what I will do okay let me think about this now this is interesting so the French corps Infantry corps are equal to the German. 
That's a little hard to believe because they're both 30 points. No, well, okay. Whatever you say. We're going to go with this one first. Seven to one, so I am going to attack. And it's gone, which is good. I'm almost to the coast, actually, for all my crying. I got a five to one and a four to one. I'm afraid these guys might be isolated, though. So this guy can only move one. It's got five operation points. Here's that damn motorized car. Shit. So this is five to one. We each take a hit. Still five to one. Ah, now he's gone. See, for all my crying, I reached the coast. This guy will go with him. But see, then I've got no one to put in there. Shit. So these guys are going to be cut off for a moment. Not the best of situations. What about this guy? Just about got him surrounded. So I'm le left clicking on this and then you just hover over this and it'll this guy have operations points? Yeah, he does. Okay, so Alright, what the hell's going on here? Oh, got to get another unit up here. Okay, this guy's got two operations points. It's one to one. How come none of this stuff is lighting up? This guy's got five operations points. One to two. Well, this is really puzzling. This is one to one. Why don't, oh, there we go. Oh, God damn it, I wasn't pressing the control. Okay, this guy's got two operation points. Why won't he go? We've got a three to one, I don't like that. That is not good enough. Why doesn't this guy go? He's got two operations points. Oh, he's got zero. No wonder. Okay, three to one. He's got zero. Oh, we can't move him out. Too bad.
Well, let's see if we can soften them up with our air power. Shit, I gotta move these guys forward. I hate. It's got three operations points. No one that can move in there. This guy can move. No, he can't move at all. I'm going to pull this guy back. Got any operations points? No. Oh, this guy's out of operations points. I see. All right, we got to bombard this guy and see if we can. This guy's got one operation point. He can move back here. And this armor guy can move up here. All right, now we'll see if these planes can, okay, one, I got, he got one, I got two casualties. I'll do it again. I got one, he got zero, that's nice. Okay, we'll use this guy. And see how when you right click on him, you get the choice of moving him in to any of these hexes or uh, if it's a, a red outline hex, all you have to do is move over there and it says airstrike. So you're doing an airstrike. So I'll do an airstrike on him. I got one. He got zero. Jesus. What happened to Luftwaffe? Zero and zero. Okay. Zero and zero. Zero and zero, but that doesn't really mean that because I'm st I bet I'm still doing damage to him, so I don't get what the readout is. Okay, zero and zero. Now let's see what the odds are. This is the only guy that doesn't have operational points. See, it's four to one now. Okay, we'll do the Stuka zero and zero. If I can make it five to one, I'll be happy. Okay, these guys went already. These guys went. These guys went. The Germans really don't have that big of an air force here. These guys went. I think that's everybody. So let's see what the odds are now. Okay, we'll go at four to one. Okay, I got two losses, he got three. Okay, some of my operations points now are probably running low. We've got four there, four there. Four there. Wow. How can I have four there? I thought I had zero. Well, let's see. Okay, wait a minute. Let's do a reset. Six to one. Okay, see? Now, all those zeros that showed up that I had zero effect really wasn't zero effect. So, I don't know. Things are happening behind the scenes. AI is doing stuff where if it shows 
you keep getting zeros on them, it doesn't mean you had no effect because the odds got raised two levels from four to one to six to one. So six to one, I'll be happy to attack. Doink, and he goes away. Okay, so we're gonna move in there. I'm gonna move him up here. Just checking these guys that can't move. This guy can move. No, I was on the ground unit. Okay, looks like all I, oh, I can move this fighter up. Which I think I will. Maybe this fighter too, nope. I don't remember using him, but he could have been used in defense or in support of one of my attacks. I could have been attacked by a French air unit and he defended, so he got used in that combat without me knowing it really. I could, I'd know it, I could look at the report and see, but I'm just assuming that is probably a correct assumption. Okay, can any of these guys move? We'll move up there. Oh, where have we got a headquarters? Let's move them up there. The headquarters up there. Move this guy up. Now, let's see what kind of odds we got here. Five to one. I'll take them. Okay, we blew that guy off. Let's move up there. Now, let's see what kind of odds we got here. Three to one. I don't much like it. Okay, why can't we attack? Oh, because I have zero operation points. Okay, that makes sense. Now, zero operation points. Okay, let's move him up there. Move him up. Move him up. See, as the front stretches out, we're going to need more and more units. Got to keep moving these guys up. Unfortunately, it's moving, using more and more fuel, but I can't help it. All right. Let me just check. Did we get everything? So May 14th, we're getting another core. And the 28th, another Panzer. That's what I need. Okay, now. Can this guy move by rail? Down here. And we'll take one of the infantry divisions. Move them up there. And we also have a port up here. Now, if you left click on this, this box in the lower left hand corner, it tells you what's there. It's a level one port, not much. 
but it is a port. So let's move. This is why we got the divisions. We'll move a division up there. This one's covered by division. That's covered by division. That's good. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm thinking that's about it. So, let's go on to the next one. Shit, the time's almost up. France declared war on Iceland. Who cares? This will finish up the turn, the 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 session because we're almost out of time. I'm not going to go like last time, an hour and 45 minutes. This time I'm going to end it pretty close to an hour. So we'll see what happens. That's where I attacked the bullseyes. And it's showing where I've moved. And it'll do the same thing with the allies. When they finish their turn, it'll show the same thing where it attacked and where it moved. So you can get an idea. Okay. Okay, that's the end of his turn, or its turn. Well, for all my crabbing, I did make it to the sea, but as you can see, I didn't cut off any British units because they never went there. And if... Well, I don't know. So now I have to... Uh, I'll have to widen my penetration. Which isn't going to be easy because he's as strong as I am. And I can only attack on two hexes. So like there, there's only a two to one. Those are suicide odds. So I'm hoping... One to one. Of course, he put the British here right in front of me. See, see these, these infantry corps, look at, it, it can only move one hex in that direction. Where's my motorized core? 
Well, I can't find it again. God damn it. Okay, we're going. We're going to uh, save this, and we'll continue it next time. for today.